What it do, baby? It is the last video of K-Pop Friday, December 6th, 2019. We're doing a little throwback. And guess where we're going? One of my favorite groups of all time, BTS. What song are we going to? One of my favorite songs of all time, Just One More Day. <laughs> song so much and you're gonna have to deal with me mispronouncing lyrics me singing them horribly me dancing a little bit and me um hopefully not dying after saying this so just have fun enjoy the enjoy the show with me i'll do a little bit of commentary if i can but mostly it's just gonna be me singing dancing and having a good time to this hopefully you are a cool person and just want to chill and vibe with me as well this is BTS, just one more day. And we just gonna have a good time. Cause we just live in just one more day. Cue the balls. Yeah. Yeah. Just one day, one night. That's all I ever want. How do my neck? I like that <laughs> I don't know what it is about this song, it's just like, 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 I'm sorry, the Morrigan of Miss Sanjo, in Gabba, the Do and Tenka Bowman, who's a job, Chugumanani, Hotsama Mani, I won't manga catch Yaran and Kumtemen or the Parapochi Mukta Sogra, make a Haramato, whom Sogra do Haraman, you're still a pink and a Sanki Yat and Kusumana, my two is of the Kamadi Machedro High School, we get an Apako to pick them and I held the Japo to sit there. Let's go. 24 hours, no one's done. It's time and nothing but to in my chum head. But this is who I'm the branch, you don't have any pets. On the go, no one happy, it's a mom's done. I'm going to head it down, bam, to me. No, I can go back to John, I'm going to do it. So, my little little duty, I'm going to do it. Can you please stay with me? Okay. 
it's very confusing because back in this time when I listened to this song, I was very confused on how to separate their voices because at the time they were doing this thing and they just stopped doing it. Everybody has their own voice now, but you can tell them apart. But the problem is that V used to sound like RM. They used to make V sound like RM and then they would have J-Hope and Suga sound very similar and then J-Hope and Suga would also sound like RM with the way they go into verses. So I guess maybe like RM wrote a certain part and they were doing it in his voice, but not everybody has their own voices. So every time there's like a song now, it's like, oh, you can clearly tell everybody apart because J-Hope has his own style. J-Hope has went from like, having a bottom style to he's matching up with everybody else to being like a dominant player to be like yo that's a j-hope hit right there that's a j-hope verse because he comes in with that old hip-hop style he doesn't come in with that new style he comes with that old stuff you know he sounds like he's like back in the 90s almost in that in that like fast kind of that's a r that sounds like rm2 i don't know that was an rm one i don't know why i chose that one that was an RM style. But um, it's just funny to me because I could never tell them apart when I first started listening to them. But now it's like, oh, you know, you can hear everybody. And you can even hear when they're layered like that. Because Jimin was doing high notes. And then Jungkook was doing a mid. And then uh, Jin was doing like a, a front. And it was like, you can you could hear them perfectly separated. And V was in there too. But it's like, when they're trying to harmonize with each other, it's like, what is going on? Oh my God. So like when I was newer to bts everything was very you know difficult and hard for me to understand i can i can see them separately i'm like oh yeah yeah okay i know i know all of them i know v i know jen i know junk you know so on and so forth but like rm stood out to me because he was the most i don't know dominant in, in the not dominant as in better than everybody but he stood out to me the deep voice thing uh, that always has been a thing for me like rm uh jackson from got seven it's just like deep voices have been what makes me attracted to people in, in, in the music sometimes especially in k-pop and stuff like that that's why like when i listen to like um ab6 ab6 i love ab6 because their their rappers have deep voices and it's like dope but um because i don't know you just have a lot of rappers that have deep voices but they always talk about hood stuff and they're not really like you know pop and then in that situation not in a situation where it's like fun and flowy you know they're always like i came with a gun it's like whoa 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 buddy but like you got rappers in like pop songs and they're just like deep voice and it's like how do they make that work because you know normally the people in the pop songs have these nice voices even when they're rapping like you know it's like not like a like top top also had a deep voice and that's why he was my bias in um big bang so it's just like i don't know i felt like it was resonating with me personally because i have a deep voice and i was like trying to make that a possible thing for me to work out musically as well but just bts has grown so much from like 2013 till now and it's just like ridiculous how big that scale is has been put up and 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 where they are and it's crazy because like i got introduced to them like two years after they debuted and then i started reacting a year after i was introduced to them and i was like man it was the first video i ever reacted to and i was like this is awesome because i like the song and I like the video it's dope as well and I just I don't know I had a good time doing it so I just kept doing it and it was BTS fire and I was like I don't know why would I why would I record this but why why not you know I think I might have watched Dre's video first like one of his and then I was like I I feel like I could do that so then I just started doing it and you know tomato tomato I don't know what that means but um yeah it's just I don't know I don't know, I may get people that are like, you know, oh yeah, you know, it's real simple. How can you not tell them apart in the beginning, you know? But I feel like it's just, once you're used to people's voices, you can hear them dominantly easily, you know? Cause like any song that comes out right now, I'm like, oh, oh, oh that's not a Jin. Jin's grown vocally so much. That is insane. You know, um, it's just, I don't know. It's just crazy to watch people grow as artists. It's, it's ridiculous. And I kind of like, want to be an artist and grow from where i am now because i don't know anything so i'm just really trying to figure out how to get into music and do stuff like that and have a good time so yeah uh anyways i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoyed k-pop friday if you did not see the rest of the four videos before this wow where have you been there's just four videos go watch them you know little xo a little one we a little jackson wang and 
Oh, TXT, of course. Big hit, brother group. Not, well, BTS is brother group. But, uh, guys, I hope you have a good time. I hope you enjoy K-pop Friday. Uh, if you want to see more content, please go to Patreon. I'm going to be putting more stuff on there. I know I say this every week, but, like, literally, <sighs> I need everyone not to attack me on, on, on Patreon. I'm trying my best. I'm not really. Not really. I, I, could, I could be trying harder. I should be trying harder. I'm just lazy, and I don't, I don't know. It's not a good thing to be lazy. So I'm going to try to break that habit, and I'm really going to put a lot more stuff on Patreon and, and make it worth the dollar. You know, the dollar to five dollars or whatever you want to you want to put on there. Um, hopefully, one day. Anyways, um, have a good day, guys. I hope you guys have a good week and a good year. It's almost over, but I hope next year, twenty twenty, is a great year for you as well. Um, peace out, apple slices. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. See you later. <laughs>